Hi everybody. I just wanted to uh, take a couple of minutes and just talk to you a little bit about your trees. I uh, haven't uh, sent out a video in a little while and just wanted to touch on that subject. Uh, right now, obviously, we're going through a really bad drought. Uh, we're looking at, oh, almost six to eight weeks of any real measurable rain in the area. Um, lucky for the lawns, it's coming a little bit later in the year, so they're already kind of going into dormancy. It's just hurried that process up. Um, but unfortunately for the trees, uh, they are at an important stage in the year where they're trying to send carbohydrate reserves to their root systems. And all of the drought uh, is definitely uh, having a negative effect on them. Uh, so it, it can cause uh, stresses. Um, the drought we have 2012, we're seeing the effects of that now on trees dying five, six years later, uh, especially really large mature trees. So we want to make sure that we're taking care of those trees now so that in the future, next year and on, we're not seeing the effects of the drought that's happening right now. Um, the other thing is we can see early defoliation because of the drought. Um, we can also uh, open up the tree to future fungal or insect issues because now they've become weaker. Uh, they don't have as much water, which means they're not moving nutrients through the tree, which means they can't send the carbohydrate reserves down to the roots. Uh, to help through the winter. So we may see a lot of winter death in trees that aren't taken care of. But the good side is, is there are things that you can do, there's things that we can do to help. First is water. Water uh, frequently, if you can, I'd say as often as every other day um, to uh, three times a week, um, depending on the tree, uh, but it can vary. But usually if you just take a hose and trickle it, around the trunk of the tree and leave it for a half hour or so, come back, move it to another tree. Or you can use a sprinkler. Uh, with the sprinkler, try not to get it to go directly on the bark of the tree. Uh, that can lead to uh, potential decay um, if, if that's done a lot. But any way you can get water to the tree uh, frequently is gonna be a huge help. Uh, other things that we can do is tree enrichment, in which we do a uh, ground injection in the grid around the tree is huge and it's great in the fall because it helps with that taking in the nutrients. Uh, it's got a bunch of uh, bionutrients, uh, mycorrhizae, they're called these little microorganisms that help root development and ultimately a healthier, stronger, better tree. Uh, so uh, contact us now about tree enrichment. We do have some uh, special offers going on with tree enrichment and that will be huge in helping the tree get through the winter safely and thriving uh, next year and on. And then the last thing is trimming is also a great way to keep a tree healthy, both from tears um, and rips from winds, but also just by reducing the canopy, now the root system that is there has less canopy to have to support, which means now the canopy that is left, the leaves, the branches that are left are gonna be healthier, it's gonna be a stronger tree, and aesthetically, it'll be better. So all of these things combined um, will help you to guarantee that you have uh, healthy and good trees preparing to go through the winter. So call us, email us, uh, get a hold of us, and we can help out with uh, tree enrichment trimming or help you with any other watering instructions. Thanks. Have a great day.